Indonesia, a vast country with a population of 232 million. A country full of contrasts, which faces many challenges in its development, such as social inequality. Indonesia can, however, count on one major advantage to help its development, its young population. One out of every four Indonesians is under 15. The government has decided to strengthen this resource by guaranteeing access to quality education for all its citizens. The link between education involved and the labour market is very important. That's why the, the relevance of education is also another important area. The government's ambition is to introduce minimum quality standards for all of the country's schools quality of the infrastructure, but also of the courses given and teaching methods used. It's a big task. With over 55 million students and 314,000 schools, Indonesia's school system is the fourth largest in the world. Several donors have joined forces to help fund this endeavor. They consider the Indonesian government's commitment as a major step forward. They've even passed a law that guarantees 20% of the national budget must go to education. That proves the sense of ownership, um, both political commitment as well as financial commitment. Where you have governments uh, in the leadership role uh, being clear about what they expect from donors and forcing collaboration, I think that's the best environment for us to work and that's what we've got in Indonesia. Another key for success is that the reform is based on achieving concrete results that can be measured against a list of identical indicators throughout the country. An example of the program in action is in Gresik on the island of Java. So much has changed at the Muhammadiyah school since the reform. The classrooms have been renovated with suitable lighting, individual desks, new educational equipment and internet connection to name just a few of the new features. But the most obvious difference is in the teaching itself. Farewell to overcrowded classes and teachers giving lectures. The new bywords are interaction and pupil participation. Results are already apparent. Sehingga apa komunikasi dengan siswa lebih lebih mudah lah, lebih mudah dilakukan. Akhirnya dia bisa lebih nyaman belajar. Kemudian karena ada kebanggaan di sekolah ini dia lebih bersemangat. This reform is mostly financed by the Indonesian government. The European Union, Australia, and the Asian Development Bank are providing supplementary funding. In a country the size of Indonesia, aid will make a difference if the government and donors combine their resources. But it's not all about funding. The success of the cooperation also stems from the political dialogue the donors maintain with the Indonesian authorities. It's not some highfalutin general idea. It's a very practical one where I'm saying to a minister, you are very committed to your quality standards. Let's create a policy dialogue between technical experts that allow the best that the world has to offer. We have what we call the uh, education sector working group. It's this uh, forum for a dialogue, a policy dialogue. So we can identify the challenges, the main issues, the strategic issues. We provide new solutions, new ideas to trigger debates, which then eventually results in new policies. Education budgets and competencies have been decentralized to the level of district authorities and school principals. But do they themselves have the necessary skills? The capacity building this is very important and, and in many parts of our local governments, we still need that. They have the resources, but, but I think they still have lack capacity in using uh, the fund that they have. Under the lead of the Ministry of Education, donors have coordinated their efforts to develop specific training programs to help local authorities and schools to fulfill their new budgetary and educational responsibilities. What our support is doing is trying to make sure that the schools, the, the principals, the treasurers, the community leaders are able to use those resources more effectively. Kita diberi standar-standar untuk mengevaluasi diri. Jadi sekolah kita itu sampai pada tahapan yang mana. Manfaat pelatihan ini akan kami kembangkan di sekolah kami, utamanya yaitu mengenai isi, ya, standar isi, dan juga proses pembelajaran di sekolah kami akan kami tingkatkan. Quality education for all. Indonesia has taken up the challenge. 
Its partners support this long-term goal, convinced that a new Indonesia is in the making.